even though Squarespace have rolled up Fluid Engine and they're trying to push us towards Fluid Engine as the sort of be all and end all of Squarespace website building, the classic editor is still really, really useful. And one of the blocks that makes classic editor tick is the spacer block. Now the spacer block allows us to basically manipulate the layout of classic editor without having to go into Fluid Engine and do all the drag and drop, whatever. But the thing is with a spacer block is it's it's about, <laughs> about yay big, but you can't make the height of it much shorter than Squarespace already gives you. So you can make it way longer, but when you drag up to try and make it shorter, it doesn't really make much difference. So what we need to do is remove that minimum height if you want to get like a really thin space on your classic editor designs. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So my mic broke. Well, it's not working at the moment. So this is why I'm just speaking into the camera and I couldn't be bothered sticking the proper camera up. So bear with me. Anyway, so if we go into our editor and we go into a classic editor section and we can tell it's a classic editor because it's got upgrade up here. If it didn't have upgrade, then it would clearly be a fluid engine section. And to double check that, we can just click G. So when we click G, it brings up a grid, a permanent grid on all fluid engine sections. It doesn't do that on classic editor sections. So that's a surefire way to know. Anyway, I've got a space block here and you can see it doesn't go any smaller than this. It may go bigger, but it does go smaller. If we click save and then we exit and then we go into website and then we go into website tools custom CSS, what we want to do is paste our code in here. So I'm going to paste it now. And basically we're saying space a block, no padding on the top, no padding on the bottom, and then a minimum height of zero VH, which is viewport height, I think. So we saved that. And now when we go into the editor, so we'll click in, we can see that the spacer block no longer resets around here. So we can go past that blocker until it, there's basically no space. So you can see we can still make it bigger, but we can go past, I mean, that's the usual limit. We can go way past that. So we can make the most minute changes in space on a classic editor section. And um, once you're happy with, um, with the spacing, I don't even know where that's gone now, I've made it too small. But once you're happy with the spacing, you can just hit save, hit exit, and you're done. If you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.